Hi, this is Bruce Cohen, board certified lawyer in immigration law, and this is my friend the squirrel. <coughs> I was trying to shoot a video here today talking about immigration. This squirrel discovered that I have lots of uh, potato chips in my uh, bag with me today, but I want to talk about Homeland Security. Here you go. <coughs> Homeland Security and the uh, new edict coming from the, uh, the State Department that if you're applying, here you go, if you're applying for a visa abroad, that the issuance of a visa, according to the Secretary of State now, here you go, is a matter of national security. And that means that the uh, U.S. embassies and consulates can go ahead and deny a visa now as a matter of national security without ever needing to present any type of proof. Here you go. Well, he's not very sharp, is he? Here you go. They don't need to present any type of proof and they could just be denying visitor visas to people as a matter of national security. It used to be that visas were denied because they felt that visitors the visitors might not be uh, serious about returning to their home country, that once they come as a visitor, they would stay here and work. So historically, that's been the reason. It's called 214B, why visas were denied to visitors and other people coming to the United States. But now, according to the Secretary of State, those visas can be denied for the reasons of national security, however that's defined. Now, many are afraid that national security will be defined as any Muslim person applying for a visa. Time will tell. This is a brand new procedure.